Hey guys, so something yesterday crazy happened on YouTube over the last couple of days. Can't really explain it. Something about like the viewership of videos was getting deleted and practically it was affecting a lot of people's revenue and just viewership numbers and like how many people were seeing it. And it's not that people didn't see it. It's just that it would delete the views and say that only half or, you know, less than half of the people that actually watched it did see the videos. And that definitely happened to the, the last couple of videos I posted. My Elite 100 Andre the Giant review. My news of the greatest hits wave 2. Those last two videos were affected by this, so if you could, please leave a comment or like this video or both, just so I can get a more accurate number and it would help me see exactly what's going on with my video performance. I greatly appreciate it, man. Just leave a comment saying, I saw this video or I'm seeing this video, I did watch this video, or leave a like on the video. I greatly appreciate it, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching and tuning into the videos and everything like that, because these last two videos, it's not showing the actual performance of it, and I know it's doing much better than what it's originally showing like the video would be posted for four hours it would say 3.5k views and then you'd click the analytics and it would say only 300 people watched it. So I don't know what the hell was going on or whatever, man. But I, I appreciate you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let's dive into Stunning Steve Austin and The Rock from Elite Series 100. What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new 2-in-1 review on the brand new WWE Elite Series 100 Rock and Steve Austin figure. Stunning Steve if I might add. Now this is our second 2-in-1 review and if you guys saw the PSA at the beginning of the video please, please comment and like on this video so I can get a better understanding of what is happening. It will let me know a true number of how many people are actually watching versus what YouTube's telling me because right now it is all over the place and I don't know when it's going to be fixed but it pisses me off and it's much more than just viewership. It goes deeper than that. That can hurt the overall future of the channel the revenue, all kinds of different things man so I greatly appreciate it. If you guys will please leave a like and comment something on this video if you are indeed watching this or watched it or if it was recommended or if the bell notification worked YouTube went through a crazy thing yesterday and even yesterday's review of Elite 100 Cena and Andre the Giant, the 7.7k is not accurate and then when I go to the analytics it tells me that only 400 people have watched it. So like everything is all over the place, man. It's not making any sense. If I had any guesstimate, I would I would guess that it probably is double that in views or maybe closer to like the 12K mark, but I don't know, man. Just if you could do that for me, I greatly appreciate it. But today, man, we are back with a two-in-one review and I really didn't know if I was going to post this or when I was going to post this, but you know what? I'm risking it to get the biscuit. I wanted the Elite 100 reviews to be great, but here is The Rock looking pretty standard, you know, but that Brahma Bull Championship looks immaculate, man. I'm very excited for the Brahma Bull championship but we got this black packaging here that we covered yesterday they also have some nice illustrations of the talent on the side and in the front rock in white and silver up front same thing on the side we talked about the series 100 like foil up here at the top with the white elite collection logo i love the look of it i think it looks great that collection there and it's got series 100 i love the white black and red logo great illustration here on the back of the rock i think that looks fantastic jonathan bartlett outdid himself rest of the figures in the wave and then we have a little bio read right here if you guys would like to read that you can pause it now. And then for Stunning Steve Austin, not really that hype for this figure to be honest with you. We'll get into all those things, but he's got a brand new championship WWE logo. Same illustration style with the background art. Same stuff going on here. A great shot of Austin there. Another bio read at the top if you'd like to read it. Pause it now. Same old deal. Stunning Steve in silver and white. I like this packaging. I think I am going to try my best to get this set mint on card to pair up with our loose set of course. And I may do some surgery on this line. We'll have to see but I'm excited for these figures, man. Let's crack them out of their packaging, find out what Elite 100 Rock and Stunning Steve are all about. What? Like, God, dude, it just makes me wonder why. Like, I get the championship deal, but they I, I, they, they could have included so many looks of Stone Cold Steve Austin. So many looks they could have done, but here we are, Brad. Let's shut the hell up. Let's crack them open. So here's the Rock and Stunning Steve out of their packaging, man. Liking what I'm seeing thus far, you know. I do have my gripes with both, of course, as we dive into it. And just looking at these figures straight off, you wouldn't really look at these and just think, yep, that's Elite 100, you know what I'm saying? They kind of they look like they would be in, like, Elite 78, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of like a random figure series in the main Mattel Elite line. But, you know, who am I? You know, who, who am I? Lights are too bright for me. I, I don't know what's going on over here. However, man, we are going to dive into Stunning Steve's accessories and Stunning Steve, and then, of course, 
course, we will run it back and take a closer look at the Rock's accessories and the Rock. All right, guys, so getting into Stunning Steve's accessories, starting out first, we do have this cloth robe that I am a massive fan of. I think it looks really, really good. Now, I didn't watch Stunning Steve back then because I wasn't alive. However, on the back, I love that you have, like, this pattern here. It's got SS for Stunning Steve. You got these, like, stars and polka dots, and you got the belt of the robe going through that can tie. It can't come out, though, so that helps it there, but you do have the loop. It's got the red color. It fits the figure well. The cuffs look nice. I mean, this is a very quality accessory, and it looks good on the figure, so I'm all for cloth goods. It really doesn't matter who the freaking talent is. Now, getting into the rest of his accessories, we do have a brand new championship here. This is the NWA Television Heavyweight Wrestling Championship, or the, you know, the NWA TV title, or whatever the hell you want to call it here. Now, it's supposed to say NWA up there at the top, but it does not, but the Plates look really good. I like the red color and everything. There was a black version with a red, you know, backing here on the back of the strap. And I don't know why they didn't go with the black version. Because every photo I see of Stunning Steve with this championship and the things I've seen, he had the black and red version. So I don't know what they were going for there. Or what, maybe they just wanted to make the, the, you know, the more throwback version or what, whatever the case is there. But it does look really good. I like the plates. The shimmer is nice. This is very quality. And you guys know that every title in this Elite set, first of all, every figure comes with a title and every figure comes with a first time in the line title so this is pretty cool and epic but i like it you know it is what it is i guess you know maybe you can get a decal right there for nwa maybe from curb stomp or something but i like this accessory and then what would the world be without our trusty mike holding hands and our trusty ricochet Kawhi leonard handshaking entrance handshaking style hands which can do all kinds of different things handshake slap somebody in the face hands on the hips you know all the different things all right, guys, so getting into Stunning Steve himself, starting out with the head sculpt. I have a mixed bag on this one, man. It's, I can almost, like, see the likeness, but I almost feel like it gets lost somewhere. And I'm not a big fan of the head sculpt, and it, it reminds me of Steve Austin, but it's just not fully captured. I really can't place it. I, I don't know what it is exactly, but I'm not a huge fan of it. I, I just don't like it that much for whatever reason. I don't know if it's like the nose is a little fat or something. I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of it. I can see the likeness. I can see what they're going for. I'm just not a fan of it there. I think I would have preferred like the hair down or something, but you know, it is what it is. I like the blonde color. I like that, you know, going on. You have basically the Stone Cold Steve Austin torso. I think that works for him. I've always enjoyed that. He's got the double jointed arms on there. Standard with the white wrist tape. He does have this nice colorful gear on here. I looked up images of this gear specifically and I don't think, I don't know if this is accurate or not. Unless he had a couple of different versions, which he may have. I saw a version of this that was a little different. Like the colors were like this pink was red and this like green was yellow. And maybe I just had it wrong, but I like the tights. They look good and toyetic and all that different stuff with the coloration and stuff. Very cool looking on it. I like that. Got the beefy thighs on there. He's on ball joints. He's got the standard knee pads, white boots to go around. And yeah, that's, I mean, that's your stunning Steve, man. I think the accessories and the trunks really sell this figure. I'm not completely sure if, you know, the rest of it does the deal for me. It's kind of plain Jane, you know. I don't know how well this is going to do at retail. The Ringmaster figure didn't sell particularly well, but it was more boring than this. I will give it that. You know, it's not the exact same as the Ringmaster, but it's not Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, if I had that Legends Polly Dangerously, I would absolutely have put it up next to the Stunning Steve. However, we do have the Elite 81 Stunning Steve over here, and I do like this figure better. I think the head sculpt's got more likeness to it. Looks like this guy's maybe a tad bit taller there, but yeah, I, you know, it's just, they're playing Jane. I, I like this figure overall better, I think. Just head sculpt. I know it's single jointed arms, but this gear's probably better, but I like the boots over here. I like the head sculpt more. This does have a robe and stuff, but, you know, it's it's apples to oranges, but it's kind of it's kinda apples. It's kind of like a green apple and a red apple, maybe. I don't know. But this isn't bad. You know, I like it. It's just kind of plain Jane, but again, I wish I had the Poly Dangerously Legends Elite. I'd put it up here to, to measure and see what we got going on, but I didn't want to compare these, and I do... I used to have the Ringmaster, but I got rid of the Ringmaster because I thought the figure was so boring. I'll probably grab it at one juncture later, but I did sell that figure off, like, five years ago or four years ago or something like that but yeah they're stunning steve football austin so getting into the rocks accessories i think you know i guess it's pretty much the exact same you may get a little bit more here or there but you lose the 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 amount of cloth i guess you could say but the gym has got to be our first time in the line brahma bull championship for the rock you know this is like his custom wwf championship here very badass i mean unbelievable man i always like the brahma bull championship i always love the smoking skull title like all these different 
Endurance Championships I have always been a fan of, and this looks great, man. I, I think it looks terrific. The Brahma Bull looks great. It feels fantastic. Even the details in the strap back there. Got the rock on the side plates, the rock of a heat. I mean, dude, this is a quality-looking Mattel belt. This is probably one of the best-looking Mattel WWE Action Figure Championships they've made to date, and I'm here for it. I've been waiting on this one, and I'm finally glad to have this in the collection. Gonna have to definitely track this down more, and hopefully they'll include this later down the line, or maybe they won't. Maybe this will make Elite 100 very sought after just simply for the championships alone. Now, outside of that, we did get the Rock jersey. Now, this is very interesting to note, is that you guys know we did get the jersey in the Top Talents line with the Top Talents Rock, but it was in the red and white and silver. Well, this was the one that was more common. He wore the blue one more commonly, and he's got the Brahma Bull, the Rock there. It's got the number one on the side right there. You got the stripes. Very quality football jersey. You know, the merch was going nuts back then. Man, I went to a live event the other day. Like, not a live event, but I went to Monday Night Raw in Birmingham, Alabama the other day. The merch stand was completely shitty. And I remember back when I was a kid, bro, the merch stand used to be lit as hell. It would have 30 different options for every goddamn superstar. Now there's like seven shirts up there. Like, what the hell were we doing? I, I didn't like it. I thought it was very boring. I don't know, man. It just it, it doesn't go like it used to, man. But I guess, you know, merch is a lot different now. But on the back it is Velcro. It doesn't have a back graphic or anything. But I still like the, the jersey. It's still badass. It looks good on the figure. It's supposed to be oversized. It looks well. I, I'm all for it. We also get glasses that we have seen multiple times. It's the gold glasses with the black frames in there. I got a little paint chip on mine a little bit. It looks like a sticker almost. It might be. I don't know. Nonetheless, they look pretty good. I think they get the job done. I don't have any issues with that. And after that, you do have your mic holding hands and the rock skin tone. You have the fisted hands, which are very, very common. And just like Stunning Steve, he comes with his own ricochet Kawhi Leonard hand shaking bitch slap hands. So you can bitch slap some monkey ass jabronis. Alright guys, so getting into the rock figure, not a big fan of this head sculpt either, man. I'm just, I don't know. I just don't like the likeness. I, I think it's a bit of an odd choice. When you think of the rock from this era, I don't think of him smiling like this, and I know that, you know, they, they it's like, well, we've done the pissed off head, we've done the yelling expression, we've done these things, we've done the people's eyebrow head sculpt, and I get that, but I still think a grumpy people's eyebrow head sculpt with this haircut and, you know, side uh, sideburns and all this different stuff would still be better, even if you had to reuse the ultimate head sculpts, which they still really haven't done, I think that would be much better than this. I just don't really care for this head sculpt. It looks like him. I like the sculpt of the hair and the sideburns. I just, I don't know. It just doesn't fit the era to, for me. And it doesn't completely nail it just 100%. So, you know, both of these head sculpts on these figures are kind of a miss. But I do love the formula. I like the, the rock torso of the game here. It's the Austin torso. I like that they gave him the striated, like, deltoid shoulders here. I think that really completes it. Gives him a more ripped up look. Got the Brahma Bull tattoo with the double jointed arms. I like the elbow pads on there. Standard trunks with the rock in the red. I think he didn't wear this gear until the early 2000s though. I want to say that this is like a mismatch of different like around the same time frame you know for the rock but they kind of mix and match there. You do have the Brahma Bull in the back in the red which is also nice. I think a metallic look would have been really cool if they could have made it metallic but yeah you got the standard rock thighs, black knee pads and then he does have his signature rock boots which are very solid. And again, man, I don't hate the figure. I just, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just a standard rock. We just got the Top Talents rock. We had the Rock and Sock Connection 2 pack. We had the Greatest Hits rock, which I think is probably better than this figure. But, you know, it is what it is. But uh, let's get into some rock figure comparisons. And for our rock figure comparisons, guys, we do have sort of a fix-up rock here with the Top Talents jersey. We have the Top Talents figure itself without the jersey on. So it is like the blue and silver, which I really like. That has the, the Rock and Sock Connection 2 pack head sculpt, I think. I don't think that's the Top Talents head. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think it is. We have the Elite 100 here, and then we do have the Rock and Sock Connection 2-pack Elite Rock with a different head sculpt on there. So it's just a mismatch of rocks. I actually have quite the collection of kind of, you know, different fix-up rocks and stuff. And I'm all for it. I do love the rock. I think that he's, you know, he's probably top 10 maybe all time on my personal list. He may be top 15 all time. Always enjoyed the rock's work. An Elite Rock that I really want is maybe sculpted jogging pants, shirt with the white team just bring it and sneakers with that Wrestlemania head sculpt that we got on his elite and maybe a big gold championship or something like that that's kind of like the rock that I'd really like to see but you know at this juncture it is what it is you know it's it's just you know this is basically this top talents rock you know what I mean I mean it's not that much different I know we got the same jersey just different color we did get the Brahma Bull championship which is a huge
huge upgrade, but I think they're really selling this wave with the championships. They didn't really focus on the figures. They focused on getting us these championships. So just like Andre and John Cena, they also come with these card backings here. You guys can see here. Here's the Austin one. So this is what goes in the behind the figure in the packaging. It's got some stars and stripes similar to Steve Austin's gear. And then The Rock has the electricity, lightning, you know, swirly stuff going on for, you know, the most electrifying superstar or whatever the hell. It's got the lightning pattern. Looks very good. Kind of looks like The Undertaker a little bit, but both of these look really good and I like them, you know. I, I'm going to hold on to these. You know, they're, they're Elite 100 specific and I could use them for background pieces or something down the line and I kind of collect these for whatever dumbass reason. But I think that pretty much wraps up this 2-in-1 WWE Elite Series 100 review of Stunning Steve Olsen and The Rock, man. I like both figures. You know, they're solid, but they don't really scream Elite 100 as, as much as we've talked about that. But as standalone figures, you know, they're not terrible. I love the robe on Stunning Steve. I like the gear. I like how he feels in the hand. He poses around really, really well. I'm not a huge fan of the head sculpt. I, I, I honestly go back and forth. At certain angles, I definitely see Steve Olsen, and then at certain angles, I'm just like, God, dude, this misses the mark. I honestly wish his hair was, like, down. I want kind of, like, the flow going, to be honest. Like that Billy Gunn style hair. But I'll take it. You know, it's not my favorite, but at the same time, I honestly do think I like the Elite 82 version or Elite 81 version of Stunning Steve better. But, I, you know, I like this iteration. I like the championship. Do I think it was just 100,000% necessary? You know, who am I to say? But if you guys like what you see, you enjoy these figures, you can go grab them over at Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Pick up all the different deals and steals you can grab. But at the end of the day, the Rock figure is a bit meh. I love the Brahma Bull Championship, though. My God, that does not go without stating. I think it looks perfect. I think that the colors, the sculpt, it is a beautiful championship. I'm really excited to have the Brahma Bull title. Head sculpt is not my favorite on any of these guys, like either of them. I'm not, a, yeah, I, I don't really feel that. The gear is, is eh. I like Stunning Steve's gear. The Rock it does move around well. You guys know that I like the WrestleMania figure we got late last year, and I do enjoy the Top Talents Rock a lot as well, and the Ultimate. So, the body they use for him is perfect. I love that formula. It moves around fantastic. But with all that being said, man, that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Please do not forget to comment or like the video to let me know that you guys are actually seeing this video, because that's the only way it can be communicated, because the views are all wacky right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts again, and I'll see you guys in the next video, and have a blessed one.